Good morning, everyone. I'm really excited to be here uh, giving this first talk on, uh, in the first CeliumCon here. Uh, I'm Deepak. I'm a corporate vice president at Microsoft. I run the team that is responsible for container networking. Uh, and we are doing a lot of work on Celium, which is why I'm here to talk to you about. So last year, we announced that we're bringing Celium to Azure. Since then, we have made significant progress in partnership with Isovalent folks. Um, so, yeah, so we want to make sure that, that if you're a customer of Azure, you use Celium as the best data plane on Azure. And then if you're a customer of Celium, you use Azure because Azure is the best place to run Celium on. And today, we are going to make several announcements in that direction. So the first thing we are announcing today is Celium and Enterprise via Azure Marketplace. So Celium Enterprise via Azure Marketplace is natively integrated with Azure. What that means is that it uses Azure IPAM, it uses Azure host networking, and Celium Enterprise you can deploy by simple click of a button and it will automatically upgrade you from open source Celium to Celium Enterprise. And Celium Enterprise will provide you with enterprise network policy, enterprise services, and load balancing, and several other enterprise modules. There are a lot of benefits to deploying Celium Enterprise via Azure Marketplace. You get easy deployment, with single click of a button, you can upgrade from Celium OSS to Celium Enterprise. You get zero downtime upgrades. So essentially, going from Celium OSS to Celium Enterprise, there is no downtime at all. As I already mentioned, you get native integration. So it's with Azure IPAM, and it integrates with all the, the, the capabilities of Azure. You get auto updates. So if Celium Enterprise image is updated, it will automatically upgrade it. It will, it will automatically be upgraded in your cluster deployments. You get, get ease of management, so all the security patches are automatically applied for you. And in addition, you get integrated billing. So you get one bill, uh, which is uh, what you, you need to track and pay. The second feature that we are announcing today is Azure CNI overlay. As we have talked to our customers, what we have heard from our customers is that they don't have enough IP addresses to allocate to their parts. They want to use overlapping IP address uh, spaces. Traditionally, the way you get overlapping IP address support is by using one of the existing VXLAN-based overlay technologies. And these technologies actually do double encapsulation, which leads to significant performance penalty. Alternatively, you can use solutions like KubeNet, whereby you don't get overlapping IP address space support. And in that case, uh, or you get limited by scalability because of the routing and uh, routing limitations that the platform imposes on you. In contrast, with Azure CNI overlay, we have implemented support for CNI overlay into the Azure platform such that you get high scale and high performance. So you don't have to compromise on either one, and you're able to, to leverage overlays to overcome the IP address exhaustion problems that you may be encountering. With Azure CNI overlay, we scale to thousands of nodes and millions of pod IP addresses. And on top of that, Azure CNI overlay supports Celium data plane. So essentially, all the good things that I talked about in the previous announcement, they're all available on Azure CNI overlay as well. So as I just mentioned, Azure CNI overlay overcomes the VNet IP exhaustion problems that our customers face. In addition, it provides ease of management. So there are no UDRs or routing tables to manage. You don't have to manage your own, bring your own CNI into Azure. It provides 12x the scale of 
the traditional overlay-based solutions. So now we can support thousands of nodes and millions of pod IPs. There's no overhead associated with double encapsulation, decapsulation. It provides the native host performance that you get on Azure without any overhead associated with, with overlays. Because you are using reusable IP addresses, you are able to share subnets across your multiple cluster deployments. And last but not the least, Azure CNI overlay is supported on Windows as well. So the same solution that you can deploy on Linux is also available on Windows, so you don't have to worry about cross-platform challenges. Let's look at the performance comparison of Azure CNA overlay compared to some other overlay solutions that are existing there out in the marketplace. So the graph on the, uh, on the right here uh, shows the part-to-part -part throughput for Azure CNA overlay, comparing that to bring your own overlay, which is a typical VXLAN-based overlay. As you can see, we see about 20% improvement using Azure CNA overlay compared to using an overlay that's completely on top and not integrated with the rest of the Azure platform. The graph in the middle shows the performance of Azure CNI overlay compared to Azure host networking. So if you were to send traffic without any encapsulation, without any overlay, you get the native host performance, and Azure CNI overlay performs at par with what you will get with the host. The graph on the extreme left over here shows the performance of Azure CNA overlay with and without Cilium. And as you can see, with Cilium, we provide even additional performance improvement of about 10% as compared to Azure CNA overlay without Cilium. So essentially, Azure CNA overlay with Cilium gives you the best of all the worlds. You can get overlapping IP addresses, you can scale to millions of parts, and you get all the performance benefits and the enterprise features that come with Celium Enterprise. Okay, let, let me move on to talk about Windows. So we've been doing a lot of work to bring, uh, to bring Celium to Windows. And along those lines, uh, we have developed cross-platform solutions uh, uh, an entire pipeline such that you can take your existing Cilium programs and compile them for Windows using an open source based pipeline that we have contributed and we're working on uh, uh, for Windows. And the benefit of this is you get the binaries signed by default by using this, this pipeline. As an example, Cilium L4LB can be can be compiled and ported over to Windows as it is. So any program, EBF, EBPF programs that you write uh, can now be made cross-platform and work on Windows and Linux alike. All this work is happening in open source and uh, we have weekly Zoom meetings uh, and the EBPF Windows GitHub repo that we encourage all of you to join. So I've been shown my end of time. I'll actually conclude by saying this is not the end, this is just the beginning. We are getting started. We are very excited to bring Cilium to Azure and Cilium to Windows. We think uh, you will find the best experience with Cilium on Azure and Cilium on Windows. And uh, we think that, that, and we hope that you choose to run your Cilium workloads on Azure. And if you're already running on Azure with all the capabilities that we announced today, you uh, leverage those capabilities to guess, get the best of the networking data plane which Celium provides on Azure. Thank you, everyone.